What's up guys, we are back in the garage today and this time we're going to be throwing up a workbench and vice uh, clamp area so that when I go to port the headers, the intake, all of that kind of stuff, uh, throttle body, not the intake, the throttle body, maybe the intake manifold gasket match that. Couple other things that I want to look at porting. I've got somewhere solid and stable to work on it so that we don't have to worry about getting on the floor or anything else. I'm really kind of tired of setting up on the floor to work everything. The first thing I'm going to have to do though is you can see over there I've got an old, old sewing machine that is my father-in-law's. So we're going to have to clean that area off, get that out to the shed, empty out a spot in the shed for it, move it over there, and then I'll pull out the uh, work table and everything and start getting that set up. I picked it up at Harbor Freight. They had it on sale for like 70 bucks. It's got a pegboard on the back and a light. It is not the absolute best bench out there by any stretch of the imagination, but it is something I could quickly pick up. Didn't have to worry about, you know, cabinets and tool chests matching and everything. I do want to get a nice setup in here behind me eventually with some tool chests, matching workbench, overhead cabinets, all of that. But for now, let's go ahead and get this spot cleaned up and start getting the workbench done. All right, guys, we're about halfway through putting that thing together and just wanted to grab a quick break and say that if you've ever put anything together from Ikea and you've wanted to put a hole in the wall and break everything from Ikea in half, this is nothing like that. This, the instructions are actually really straightforward on it. Everything makes sense and it's going together great. The only thing I don't like is it says finger tighten everything before you tighten till you get everything all the way put together and then tighten everything down all the way I just hope that I'm gonna be able to get to all the nuts and bolts once everything's put together but we'll see I'm trying to follow the directions like you're supposed to for now just to see what is uh, how they suggest to put it together but so far so good so I'm gonna jump back in we'll catch you guys a little later guys so we are done we've got it all put together the light barely puts out any light but I was kind of you know expecting that just based on the size of the light so I will swing by Lowe's or Home Depot grab a new light I do want to be able to really fill that area with light do some unboxings and things like that on there as well as work and I definitely want to be able to see what I'm doing when I'm trying to port the heads so uh, we did have a couple fit and finish issues with this thing. I'll go over that at the end, but for now we'll go ahead and get the vice clamp on there, drill out the holes and bolt that up. 
right, so you can see here, these are what I got from Harbor Freight when I bought the vise and everything. And what I was hoping was these would work to mount the vise. They're unfortunately too small. They'll slide right through the holes over here on the vise. They'll slide right through that. So I went ahead, picked up some from Home Depot, Lowe's, one of the two, and just got that sorted out, measured it out. So I'm going to go ahead and throw those up. I also got a light. They had an LED light on sale for like 15 bucks. So I grabbed one of those. So hopefully we get a little better with light quality under the table when we're working and time lapsing. So I'm going to throw that up and then we should be done. So we are wrapped up with putting that Harbor Freight uh, workbench together. All in all, I am, for the price, happy with it. It's not the greatest workbench in the world. There are some really, you know, some really sturdy ones. This one's only going to hold about 200 pounds on the top shelf, 200 pounds on the bottom. You're not going to be able to heavily load it. But for $80, I do feel like this is a good buy. So if you want to swing by, they've got them on sale right now for $80. It's 10 bucks off. 10 bucks is in a make or break on this thing does have some fit and finish issues just with getting everything lined up. The, the bolts are low grade. They strip out almost immediately as soon as any kind of pressure gets put on them. So you do want to watch out for that when you're putting it together. But the vice clamps on now. We put a new light in there. The old light was absolutely terrible. It did not light up enough. But you saw with the new light, it's generating a lot more light under there. So I think it'll be great for working get that direct light right overhead. Great for filming as well, unboxing, filming on the table and everything. So all in all, definitely happy with it. Feel like it was a good buy. So thanks for sticking around and watching guys. Don't forget to like, comment, and sub subscribe guys for all of you that are subscribed and do watch the videos. I do appreciate you spending the time out of your lives, taking the time to watch the videos. Feel free to drop a comment below, good, bad, or otherwise. I'll always respond to those and any feedback is greatly appreciated. So I'll catch you guys next time. We'll get back to working on the STI. Have a good one.